The fire department in San Francisco is planning on banning helmet cams after footage uh, came up of a firefighter, or I should say a fire truck, running over uh, one of the victims of the Asiana crash. Now, the victim was a 16-year-old who was actually alive at the time. The coroner's report indicates that she was alive at the time. However, um, she, you, it was really difficult for firefighters to see her. The helmet cam did capture her. It was leaked online. And uh, they used a uh, fire retardant to um, you know, put out the fire. And in the process of doing so, they covered her from sight. So that's why the, uh, the truck ran over her. And mm. they failed. There was one firefighter that was giving directions and they failed to notify him about the fact that she was laying there. So there was a breakdown in communication, and of course this is very, very embarrassing for the fire department, and, and so all of a sudden they're responding by saying, we're gonna ban helmet cams. But they say, this is my favorite brother. Yeah. They say, no, no, we were gonna ban helmet cams before. Well, back in 2009. It, yeah, it's just we didn't get around to it for like a bunch of years, and just super coincidentally, when we got in massive trouble because of the helmet cams and we ran someone over, we decided to ban them immediately thereafter. But you see that it was just a coincidence. Oh, go, 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 go. Why do they bother lying like that? Does anyone believe them? No one, I don't think anyone believes them. It's, it's, it's not a good idea to lie about it. It just makes you look clownish. And at the same time, I mean, let's say that they aren't lying. Best case scenario for them. I think that proposing this is terrible. Actually, you know, implementing this is terrible because these people are public servants and they should be held accountable. And I love firefighters, I love cops. Like, these are good people for the most part. But at the same time, they should be held accountable for their actions if they do something wrong, especially because they're public servants. So I'm against them banning the helmet cams. The helmet cams should be there. The reason they give for banning them is because they believe that the privacy of the firefighters and the privacy of the victims are very, very important. Sure. Or yeah. is very, very important, I apologize. But like. I mean, really, it's not, it's not really about privacy. It's about making sure that you don't do anything to embarrass yourself and have it leaked yeah. to the internet. Of course. Look, uh, in this case, there are two sets of people that are objecting. One, the victim's uh, attorney and family are saying, oh, wait a minute now. Uh, you're obviously doing this to cover it up. And then what's really interesting is the guy who ran her over, he was not given proper directions. His exactly. Name, his name is Johnson. And he's like, wait a minute, that actually would help me show that it wasn't my fault. And he happens to be African American, and the Black Firefighters Association is also objecting to the rules, saying, no, don't do that. And by the way, I mean, who's, who's going to take the brunt of this? I mean, if there's no evidence and they didn't have the video, I can guarantee you Johnson would have taken the brunt of it, right? Just because he was the guy who ran him over, and is there going to be a superior officer above him who's going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, no, it was me, it was me. Could be, could be. Look, there are a lot of brave people in the fire department, but usually in a bureaucracy, that's not how it works. So in this case, it actually, the fact that the cam camera there is there would have led to more justice. But isn't it funny that Big Brother government wants cameras recording everything we do? Right. But when it comes to recording what they do, they're like, whoa, whoa, take it easy with the camera.